Alright, I wouldn't bother with no intro in this video, like just do the question one time. The matrix C is such that T is 2, negative 1, 1, 3. Alright, so that's the matrix. Determine T inverse. Alright, so you all should know how to do T inverse by now, two days before the exam. You should know how to find the inverse matrix two days before the exam, big man. And if you've never done it before, watch me do it in fast motion. This you find your joint, your joint, the switch on with D and the A. Um, so you have three, two, then you see the sign and them fellas them there. And you find the determinant, the determinant is this take away this. So you end up with six, take away negative one, which is seven. Um, then the inverse, T inverse, would be one of the determinant by their joint. 3, 1, negative, 1, 2, which gives me 3 over 7, 1 over 7. Negative 1 over 7 and 2 over 7. Alright, so that's the inverse right there. So you collect your 3 marks for finding the inverse and go, up, go on to the part of the question that we're really interested in. The matrix T. <coughs> Oh my we is a real peanut butter cup and is end up getting turned into a cup for drinking all kind of thing. Alright, matrix T maps the point A B onto the point 4 9 determine the values of A and B. Alright, so what, what's happening here is that this is going to that via T. And what you need to remember about matrix transformation is simply two skills. Matrix multiplication and finding the inverse matrix because you know when you do matrix multiplication and you break or something. You might need to find inverse. Alright, so I wonder if we have space enough to do this right here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is put T first because it's matrix multiplication, so it's important that the 2 by 2 matrix goes first. And AB, so T is happening to AB, that looking like a 9, but that's a A, equal to, and the answer that we got is 4, 9. I feel we need a new page for this now. Alright, so that's the setup right there. Remember, this is the transformation matrix. This is the initial matrix that we had, the object here, you can call that the object. And this is the image after the transformation. So if I want to find AB, I can use two methods. I can do where I multiply this row by the first column and put that equal to 4. That will give me an equation in terms of A and B and I'll do it again here. I'll get an next equation in terms of A and B and I will end up with a simultaneous equation. So if I'm going to end up with a simultaneous equation and already found the inverse of this matrix, I might as well just solve this using the matrix method for simultaneous equation for simultaneous equations, right? So A B is gonna be equal to the inverse of this guy is gonna come there. And what's the inverse of that guy? We just found out what he was. Um he was 3 over 7. 1 over 7, negative 1 over 7, and 2 over 7 by 4, 9. That's this, that's this come across there, right? Remember when you're bringing across the matrix, it squeezes in on the inside because matrix multiplication is not commutative. So you have to make sure you know where you're putting your matrix. And this will give you 3 sevens by 4 and 1 seven by 9. First row by first column, let's see if you can do that. Um, so you'll end up with 12 sevenths. I hope you can see how I got that. Plus 9 sevenths. Your matrix multiplication should be in a gear. Negative 1 seven by 4 is negative 4 sevenths. Plus 2 sevenths by 9 is 18 sevenths. You can add up them fractions on your calculator. Normal, normal, and then get 3, 2. Just make sure you get no decimals or anything like that. If you get decimals, write it in fractions. That way is better. So here you get A, B there. What they ask is specifically. Now to get A and B, let me just check that. Determine the values of A and B. Alright, you could stop right here now. You can write it out. A is 3 and B is 2. If you're feeling not too confident about leaving it so. And that's the answer. So for those of you all who had concerns about matrix transformation, remember you just need to learn um, matrix multiplication and then learn and then learn how to do the inverse so matrix multiplication and inverse and know how to apply it there's a final paper that you can look at here you try this one so that's the first part of the question you have to pause the screen and watch it 
and here's the next part of the question right there. So, take your time and try and do this question. I'll try and do a video on this question and later and you we'll see if you get through. This one was what year yeah, was this one mine? This was May 2016. And that was the last time it came. Those last three questions were the last three transformation questions they had. So we got one in 2013, 2014, 2016. Let me see if we got one in 2018. See ya.